Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for some more adventures in Ephemeral Tell. At the end of the last episode, I done did a stupid, I goofed. Instead of saving the game, I loaded the game, which erased all of what I did in the last episode. So after that recording, I went ahead and off screen basically did the same thing that's in that video over again so that we're basically at the same point. There are a few little differences. The RNG was with me this time and I was able to get the shell fragments. So I have now five shell fragments so that we can check that guy out i was able to get the breadcrumbs from the guy i killed the crab thing that was in the oasis the only thing that i didn't do the one little thing the guy down there with the little skull mask down he usually the guy that gives me my skill gems i beat the oasis the included oasis before talking to him so he is in the stage of sending me to the next part of the game and will not let me do with the skill gems so we're a little short on our skill tree but we can fix that here in a little bit but we still got a lot to do we got to check the bed crumb guy out and we got to check the shellmate guy out and then also talk to him because we talked to him a little bit he gave us a story but he then said let me think about this for a little bit so let's check and see if not okay nothing has changed we're not going to worry about that and then Sigafried is there so let's talk to him he'll give us our shell mint i think is what he gives us for the shell fragments i bet you can find a few shell fragments for me in the oasis I was in not sure how I got there though I need I think I'll need five or so you really got the shell fragments for me you're one shell of a stand-up fella you know that I'm gonna make the best helmet with the power of friendship as the key material well that and this stuff so we give him the shell fragments and I believe he gives us a shell mint. hmm it's a bit smug bit snug maybe if i just give it a little bit of this oh and i could just do this real quick wow this thing fits my head perfectly now so what do you think snazzy right a nice shelmet helmet for sheldon with this i won't need this silly shelled anymore head first into danger my paw you should tell me that was his motto as a whippersnapper now, obviously, I'm not going to do that, mind you. It's why I need protective headgear. Protective being the operative word there. Oh, that's right. Before I forget, let's talk about your reward. I got a shelmet, or a shelled, I guess. What I just gave you was my trusty old companion, my shelled. That thing has seen some, some things, let me tell you. I hope it comes in handy, but I suppose I ought to be on my way now. Thanks again, friend. So we've taken care of him. That's cool. I like that, but I would like to see what that was. I'm going to assume it was a helmet, but it kind of looked like armor. So let's try the body and see the shelled. Wow. Takes my health off. That's really not that helpful. Takes almost 200 off my health. Defense and magic defense both go down. Luck go up, hit goes up, evade and crit all go up a little bit. Guarding increases defense repeatedly. I know, I just don't think it's a good deal. I really, that slime coated, slime coat gives us 20% to maximum health. It's gonna be really hard to beat that, but if I can find something that does something really good somewhere else, I guess we can get rid of it. We might try something else here after a while. Everything's going to drop our health by like 200. 
just because of taking off that slime coat and slime coat well i guess we'll wait until this i think i ended up picking that up oh shoot i didn't really want to do that i hit the wrong button that's not good where was that thing that i was using it should have a weird durability on it 70 that's probably was it right there let's go back to that oh no so because i raised my health there then my health's a little low let's go here and rest that's not what i intended to do so that we get our health all the way back up i don't know about the guy in the shop if i buy everything out of the shop i don't know if that's going to make him go away or not i bought a couple things so i want to talk to here to shop let's see what he has he has basically the same little the little shop here we can use that's cool we'll just hold on to it right there and see what we can use later and then i want to talk to the breadcrumb guy give it to him and i think we're gonna go and try to die to one of the bosses so to see if we can get the healer why well, you got breadcrumbs now i bet you i can get my sweet ronaldo to return to me just you watch it's all in the technique you watch in wonder as florence still in his smithy apron pounces between his front and back foot cooing in the air he raises the crumbs to the sky <laughs> that's too funny after an uncomfortably long time floor stops posing with the breadcrumbs but then suddenly Renato! oh it's a little crow cool i thought you left me forever i'm so happy you're here thank you so much hero without you i would still be here worrying myself sick about my dear pet grackle grackle i owe you a deep debt so now we should be able to he should be able to smith stuff smithing hammer uh oh good news bad news on the good end of things i'm ready to fix your stuff up for you on the, i've lost my smithing hammer it seems i can't do much more than give your items a good looking at without the hammer perhaps i dropped it in my frantic state the years must really be catching up with me huh ronaldo Perhaps you would be worth checking the areas near here for my hand. Let's see. I think I was in some kind of castle when I noticed Ronaldo was missing. I bet it's somewhere in there. We got to go to the corrupted castle anyways because of the witch talked to us about the gravestone that's in the corrupted castle that we have to find for her. Wow. A lot of stuff going on here we're gonna try really quickly to die to the fairy because she's right at the beginning there she's an easy one to get into and then we'll go back hopefully this is what's gonna cause the healer to what if i just guard i don't know if that's gonna really help it might slow down i was trying to do something that would not hurt her really i guess but i'm gonna have to attack or keep guarding i guess maybe hoping that we can drop pretty quickly here yeah it's coming down pretty fast i don't know ow 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 wow yeah definitely hurting me quite a bit this is going down fairly well here here we go we got defeated maybe it was a certain area maybe i have to die in did i die in the occluded oasis we're gonna come around here to the boss hopefully we can die fairly quick to it and then if not we'll just go on and do the 
the corrupted castle. Okay. They should actually be able to hit me pretty quickly here. I would think once you get four or five of these guys on here, it's gonna, it's gonna drop really quickly. I'm not sure what guarding does. Probably increases my defense a little bit. But see, he's not even casting new companions, probably because I'm just hurting him. He's hurting me so much. If I'm not winning the match, there's no reason to cast new companions. It also might be a health level thing as well that he's so there we go aha we got her yeah so it must have been the occluded, oa occluded oasis that's really what i wanted right there now we should be able to take these people out not too much diff not too much difficulty here i don't think we're gonna have her take care of the side guys clark and then oh maybe not i think i'm gonna force and this is the way i did it with before with her i would just fight all the time and then i would have her heal me up repeatedly so she would just go and heal me and then i would just go ahead and attack whatever i really didn't mean to attack that but i meant to attack the king pinch but then when i don't need the dan the healing i'll he ow i really need the healing i should have healed there probably would have been a good idea back to me but why is it not letting me attack it's only letting her attack for some reason there we go finally i was like there must have been something i was done there that made it so that i couldn't attack so she just heals me and heals her back and forth i feel that she's getting more chances and i'm wondering if like one of the scorpions has me in their claws or something We, I'm not too worried. We're, we're going to do fine here. Now that we have Clark. Clark's always been my favorite. And just because she heals me so easily and heals herself so easily as well. I'm going to have her attack. And I'm going to have... You know what? I should do a double strike probably on him. It's going to make it a little bit easier. There we go. Get rid of this thing. So yeah, it must have been the occluded oasis that I had to die in for her to appear. We got all kinds of stuff out of that one. My pirate map broke. Excuse me, would you mind moving over just a bit? Hello again, I'm Clark. Sorry for butting in there, but you look like you can use some help. Well, uh... I'll be getting out of your way then. Bye bye. Well, we're not. We're going to go back and check her out. But there is a yeah, there's a little place right there that you can go into and get a whole nother area. Yes, I want you. Let's go. There's still the whole crossover here we haven't ran into either curtis or the other area the magnum sanctum now i just gotta look for gravestones and i'm not sure where there are any gravestones don't i can't get to any of those i feel that it was probably a gravestone that i could actually reach I don't really need to fight with her or heal with her until I need health and then we'll just heal. I think she gets some of her magic up every few steps she'll get regenerate her magic. 
there doesn't seem to be any gravestones that are reachable down there she said that one was loose so we're just gonna have to try to find a loose one but i don't recall i do recall finding ones that we could reach but i don't recall where those were were they this i don't remember Ooh no why does she always goes first she's just kicking butt here she either heals no she's the one that heals her health every few steps the magician merlin heals I think magic every few steps if I remember correctly well she's at 634 so it really doesn't matter this is the one that's really far away but these random encounters here is going to be really what is going to be helpful here I'm not sure if I want to be able to get her killed in time before she runs away. There she goes. Hammer? Nah, Vengeant Whip. My amulet broke. Ah, oh, gosh, all this stuff. Oh, wow. All kinds of stuff broke at the same time. I guess. Yellow Bandana? I feel that that did something, but maybe not it's nice there's another one at 25. there's the turtle shell mint 15 bro oh, 15 percent defense but lowers attack by 10 percent i don't know if i like that chrome dome grants a five percent thorn damage I kind of like that I mean it's not horrible let's grab this yellow bandana and go with it for now I think all my accessories broke everything good thing I got a lot of these booties and hiking boots they're really actually pretty good yeah let's just go ahead with booties and then if we could do something a different collar leather gloves looks pretty nice pirates maps are pretty nice as well that's an infinite one let's go that one i like to eventually get infinite but the problem with infinite is they don't break and then you have the problem of you end up with a really low level one blacksmith hammer sweet we got that awesome we got his hammer there was gravestones somewhere but i just do not recall where they are i should have healed myself first i don't think we'll be really bad here but yeah there we go i wasn't too worried there we got something i'm not even sure what that is amulet of the unseen aha here we go oh there's one looks like a holes in it it looks like a hole here this gravestone is loose you might be able to move it give it a shove yep haha <laughs> look at that sweet so we needed to get something down here what did she want this culture stinks to high heavens who would keep such a disgusting juice in here take a scoop of voodoo juice yep i got voodoo juice now and let's see what's in the treasure wow there's a lot of stuff in that treasure chest we're gonna rob her blind repair kit that's cool uh oh goes I really like this effect here of where those ghosts affect 
the other ones you have to have this one killed before you can kill or hit I mean I have to have that candle nap completely dead before you can even damage the other ones well we got that done that's good so we've managed to do everything we needed to do we got the voodoo juice we got the hammer I think we're doing well here now we get to move on to the next area and I'm all excited I can't wait to see the whole new area the magnum sanctum and how Curtis is put into this game here so oh well there was a random chest back there I don't really need it I believe it is over one more than down or wait uh oh I did something wrong I went the wrong way go yeah we just take these guys out really easily here oh let's go and grab that while we're here potions am i lost i may be <laughs> getting lost for some reason is like super easy for me to do here we're almost out good i guess i could do another recall rune but if i'm not worried about my situation i really don't want to do a recall rune too much because then i run out and when i really need it then i just don't have it and over and then down ah we were getting so close i was i was ready to be out hopefully we can take this other guy out pretty oh we got an el cabone i didn't think we can get those from zombies that's cool i thought you could only get those from oh i forget what it is the the gangster like one so what the guy the main guy told us to do we got to put the blessings in these little crystals i did this one already because i wasn't sure how to did it and i accidentally did that on when i was going back through and getting everything caught back up so we'll do those two in a minute but we've got to go talk to the witch and the smithy so that we can see what they can do for us i'm kind of excited to see because i have never done that part of the game before so i am intrigued for sure let's go talk to him in ronaldo first you returned hammer and toe ronaldo ronaldo and i are both thrilled to see you aren't we ronaldo would you mind handing me the hammer? Now I can get to work. What do you can do? Oh, he gave me a large repair kit. Repairs 100 durability on any of your equipped gear. Yeah, useful. You bring me enough power, I can make more for you. How's that sound? Additionally, if you have any gear that you don't want, I'd be happy to take it off your hands for a fair price. I feel free to come see me. Ronaldo and I will both listen see you okay so finished up on a batch of repair kits if you're interested i could shop so i could buy repair kits that's cool i could sell my items wow or armor now what does just out of curiosity I don't need this i'm curious oh so it's power so he'll just sell it up for straight power that's kind of cool or my armor i want to keep my basic stuff for sure what chat does he have 
What, why did I choose to be a blacksmith? Well, in the land that I come from, there was always an abundance of scrap, but no smiths to refine it. To me, that just felt like a gap in the market. Am I right? So here I am. Okay, sure. So if we want some power, we can sell our items. If we want to repair them, we can go in there. And we have a lot. If we find something really good, and basically what that does is each item except for the orange ones has a durability so if i grabbed like let's do a small repair kit here i think i have 59 small repair kits on my stuff it'll move all my equipment up that much durability so well, I thought it would. That only has two durability. Thought that's how it worked. Or maybe it did one? I could go down to her, but... There. I gave one to both of us. See, that still has two. There must be a... It not working. I would say that the repair kits are not working somehow, or the small one didn't seem to work. Do I still have 59? No, I have 59. I could try the medium one. It's making a little sound like it is. It used to add the durability to all of those, but it looks like it's not working for some reason. That's interesting. Okay. Let's go talk to the witch. You smell gross. You found my voodoo juice. I need you to sniff it out. Hand it over and I can work on the mixture. Perfect. This will save me a ton of time stinking up your gear. Oh, the powers of gross negligence. So strong. Want to give it a whirl? Sure. Let's do one more. The last ingredient you put in determines the outcome. Don't remember if I mentioned that or not. The more you know, right? Determines the outcome in what way? Hmm, you smell that? Fresh loot. She's giving me a scepter of the worlds just for doing it. And there's little sparkles up here now. Throw the shell of the summit into the water. Sure. Why not? Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> we are we are little mer people. That's hilarious. Whoa. Oh wow. A whole new area. That's craziness. We're gonna have to explore that in another episode. Right now, this is the end. And we've got a lot still to do in this game. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.